So I'm a little upset. I'm not really upset, but my youngest sister is nine years old. And my aunt just sent her some new clothes or some clothes hand me down from her daughter who I think is 14 or 15. I lose track because there's like 20 of us. <laughs> 20 cousins. I don't know. Something around that number. Um, but she looks like an adult. Like she looks, she's nine, but she looks 12 in those clothes. And I know that's not like a huge difference, but it is to me because I'm looking at her like, my baby. And she's like, has cool jewelry on and like cool little outfits. And she has like attitude. And I'm like, no. I held you in my arms. I fed you a baba. <laughs> you know, you're not supposed to grow up. And um, like, she likes some of the like teeny kind of stuff, like or tweeny. I don't really know. Um, like Selena Gomez, and I'll listen to Selena Gomez music with her because I actually like it. Like I don't like, I'm not like gonna go buy her CD, but it's fun enough because I remember my Spice Girl days. <laughs> so I'll listen to it. And I know she likes, she used to like Hannah Montana and stuff, whatever. But I bonded over, over our dislike of Justin Bieber. And now she has betrayed me. <laughs> Today she was watching the Justin Bieber movie. And I'm like, what is this? How dare you watch this blasphemy? <laughs> you know? And um, she wanted to, eat, I was on a date this afternoon. And she, my mom texted me asking to please pick up a, like, J14 magazine. As long as that's Justin Bieber. <sighs> I almost died. <laughs> like, no, baby. So, I had a tiny bit of money because I've been blessed with a lot of abundance lately. So, I got my bill, um, one huge bill paid. So, I figured I could spend a tiny bit of money on my nine year old sister. So, we went to the store since 7 Eleven didn't have it when we drove by on my way back from my date. And I let her go through all the teen magazines while I walked around the store. <laughs> And she picked one finally because she wanted one of good posters of Justin Bieber and other good pictures that she wants to cut them out and paste into her wall. And uh, I don't know why my mom's letting her do that. But um, it's better than taping because tape takes off paint also anyway. Um, and it stays there for a long time because her house is old. And uh, anyway. So plus the taping looks like crap because the side starts to fold. So she, I bought her some glue sticks. And I bought her some scissors that were on clearance for 50 cents. Some kid scissors. <sighs> The magazine on Justin Bieber. I bought her a little bit of candy too. I bought her some M&Ms because I'm like, it's going to be a sissy day because she was so depressed because she doesn't have any friends over this weekend. She needs a lot to be entertained because um, she's a very high energy kid. So she can't just like hang out the house. She needs to have other friends to play with. Whereas I was the complete opposite. I didn't like hanging, like I didn't really have any friends. And the ones I did have, I didn't spend a lot of time with. I was one of those kids that goes in the backyard and plays in the dirt and makes castles and pretends that there's wizards and stuff or i would read constantly <laughs> like we were joking at the store that my mom's like oh my god you're buying her her first magazine i forgot it, was, it wasn't j14 it was like kids bop i think that's a, no that's a cd like pop something some weird thing and she's like i remember now you're buying her cd or these magazines i remember buying your other sister who's my 19 magazines and she's like and i remember buying your religious studies books <laughs> like yes a little strange for a younger kid no <laughs> um, I actually did read um, Young and Modern I think it was called it was YM magazine I think they ended up changing it to Young and Modern or something like that but um I was only in it for the Spice Girls that was it I wasn't really in anybody else in sync a little bit but it was all about the Spice Girls because they were like I don't know they were it wasn't because of the music really even though I like the music I think they're so empowered that that's what I wanted to be because I was so shy and everything and I, I remember even buying like platform sketchers and I'm five, nine and I had a growth spurt for everybody else. I was already taller than everybody else in my school when I was wearing those in like fifth and sixth grade. And, uh, to wear those, I'm really clumsy too. So it was terrible. So I was like this, I'm like a Yeti or like a, um, God, what's the other? I'll just say Yeti. I'm a giant or an Amazon, like Rah, taller than all of you. And I've always been a big girl, like I've been plus size my entire life. Well, since I was like five or something. And, um, and tall and with the extra shoes that made me taller because those things had like six inches on them. So it was bad. Oh, I don't miss those days. I don't miss those outfits. I remember even wearing black velvet outfits, full black velvet outfits. So my mom gave me one. Sweaty and nasty and ugly. And I wore it anyway because I thought I looked good. <laughs> and I don't know why I was dressing like that anyway because I was in fifth grade. And my mom even bleached my bangs to be like ginger spice. Oh. So I understand what she wants, like, that it is bringing her happiness, even though I don't really want her to be one of those kids that's all like, oh my god, I totally read this magazine, blah, 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 blah you know, but <sighs> she goes to kind of like a rich kid's school, like the rich area where we live. It's not a private school or anything, but they all kind of live there. I think she's being influenced that way. 
she's growing up, developing her own like style and everything. So it's not the end of the world, but I'm kind of still disappointed in a little bit because I don't want her to <laughs> really get into it. But um, my other sister didn't really get into it. She's she's up to date on like um, pop stuff, but she's not like consumed by it. So I don't think my other sister will either. I think she's just getting into it now a little bit. I hope she turns out like me and my other middle sister. Uh, me and my middle sister are actually opposites, but she's not too consumed by anything. She just, she pretty much has her own mind as well. But yeah, so um, I wanted to make a video, be like, no, my baby's growing up, because I know a lot of you probably feel the same way if you have kids. She's like my sister, but like I was fourteen, I had just turned fourteen two weeks before she was born. My mom's a single parent, so um, I basically feel like. I raised her, you know, well, we've raised her as a group because my other sister's three and a half years younger than me. So she was 10 and I was 14 when Alex, our youngest sister, was born. And so I still feel like she's my baby. We call her baby. And so I've met people, I've met new friends, I call her baby so many times, or my baby. And they either A, think she's my daughter, or B, think her name is baby. <laughs> oh, um, anyway, this is my, I'm going to look back on this video someday, years from now, when she's all grown up or teenager, I'm going to show her to her or something. Be like, look, Sissy bought you your first magazine. Look what you are now, or something. But yeah, my baby's growing up. So uh, thank you for watching my video.